Okay, I've got a question from Jeffrey. I'm a police officer and an operator on the SWAT team. I work with a lot of SWAT teams. In order to get onto a team, the fitness requirements made it such that aerobic capacity and muscle endurance were much more important for selection, and my training reflected that. Now that I've been on the team for a while, and I know where this is going, I find that absolute strength and adding some muscle mass armor building are more important. I've also leaned out a lot as our team works out together and does a lot of stair running, Tabata style, and HIIT workouts that I participate in at work almost daily. I've read your book, Mass Made Simple, and want to try the program, but the fact is I can't take that many rest days. Still have to work out with a team and can't afford to be really sore at work on an operation makes it very difficult. How would you recommend I go about adding some lean body mass into the condition? <clears throat> I wouldn't recommend it at all. Um, you know, as long as you're the, you literally your life is on the line, um, you know, doing that high rep set of squats might might slow you down enough that uh, you you become a target. And I don't want that, uh, Jeffrey. Um, one of the problems we have with special forces and, and, and operators is the guy, you guys always do too much. Um, and you don't do enough that's uh, related to training. One of the things that when I worked with uh, one of my first teams is they did a, uh, they did a practice. And at the practice, they had about a third of their people get injured at some level. And when I went in there, I started talking, and uh, one of the first things I said is, you know, how often do you sit in your full gear um, in a kneeling position behind a fence for 45 minutes? And the one guy said, well, we never do that. I said, well, it's interesting because the one guy who got hurt was a very, very hot day, full battle dress, uh, on his knees behind a fence, and then jumped up and sprinted and pulled a hamstring muscle or whatever muscle he pulled. Well, if you're going to be in your gear on a hot day and then have to leap up and do something, yeah, you're going to get hurt. What I would re I, so what I recommended to them was what we I used to call lift and offs, and now I call them lift and off. So those workouts where you combine a hinge or a squat followed by sprinting. You do squats, then you sprint instantly. You throw the weight down and sprint. You do deadlifts, sprint. You do deadlifts and bear crawl, which is great for American football and rugby. So the idea of building lean body mass, for me, the most important things I think you should do are focus on work capacity, which is the loaded carry family, bear hugs, and, and bear crawls, um, farmer walks, sled pulls, prowlers, and then working your hinge, because if you have to, if you have to hit somebody, that's the deadlifts, the snatches, and the cleans. Uh, you guys are athletes on SWAT teams. Now, yes, you also need a, a, some level of of lean body mass. So the bulk of your workout should be the hinge hinge work and loaded carry work, which is the work capacity. But you also need to spend about three days a week doing push, pull, and squat. And one rule here, all your <laughs> what you <laughs> all your reps and sets have to be the exact same number. End up at the same number. Most of you guys are gonna do 200 pushes 10 pulls and five squats, and I don't want that. What I'd like to see you have is, at the end of the week when you add up all your numbers, that you have something like 75 pushes, 75 pulls, 75 squats. So that's five sets of five, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You could do three sets of eight, you could do three sets of five, five sets of three, it doesn't matter. But for lean body mass, push, pull, and hinge the same numbers. See if you can string together a workout for me that has some of that lean body work. By the way, at first I would do go right to three sets of eight. Just make it as boring as simple as possible. Three sets of eight in the overhead press, three sets of eight in the pull up, three sets of eight in the back squat. And then slowly add some different exercises and, and rep schemes into that. And then the rest of your work is swings, snatches, cleans, deadlifts, one of those, and some kind of loaded carries. Once a week, the squat or hinge followed by the sprints. And uh, that's my advice to you, and I hope it helps.